Mr. O'Carroll, would you tell us why you think marijuana is dangerous? Well, uh, there were many reasons for marijuana being called uh, dangerous, but it, it has an ancient history, actually. It goes back thousands of years. It's been used in the Far East, in the Near East, and uh, just lately in the United States. In the Near East and the Far East, uh, it's been a terrible problem. All of the governments have uh, applied sanctions against it. Uh, in the United States, it's a fairly recent development, and I think... Uh, uh, we're applying uh, as many controls and uh, also uh, as much prevention as we can to stop the growing problem. What are the some more common forms of marijuana? Well, marijuana is basically a uh, weed and uh, it's uh, used in cigarette form. Some, some of the uh, people like to use it with a pipe, but basically it's a, uh, uh, a weed that has crushed uh, leaves and flowering tops of the marijuana plant rolled into a cigarette and smoked. What is your feeling concerning the laws and control of marijuana? We have some strong laws on marijuana. Uh, the, we have penalties for sale, five to 20 years. Penalties for possession, two to 10 years, with the option of a suspended sentence or probation. But the, uh, the law itself uh, is not the answer to the marijuana problem, nor is treatment, nor is rehabilitation. I, I think one of the real answers is in the prevention area. This is why I'm delighted to be down here at Ball State University to uh, talk to the educators who in turn can talk to the children about this terrible problem. Well, currently there's a move underway now to minimize the danger of marijuana. What's the government doing to control this? Well, the government uh, has made a uh, number of important moves, not only with marijuana, but with all of the uh, drugs in the United States. President Johnson, in February of this year, suggested a reorganization of the entire drug abuse and uh, narcotic setup, and we now have a, uh, a one agency set up with one command. And uh, this command uh, is, consists of 300 Bureau of Narcotics agents and 300 uh, drug abuse agents, which makes a force of 600 people working on the national level. Mr. O'Carroll, thank you very much.